And hello, everybody. This is Brent Gove coming to you live from Northern California. It is a beautiful, what, Thursday afternoon, I believe, uh, April the 2nd. And today, I'm going to have wrap up today's webinar with uh, an agent from Hawaii, Shereen Duncan. Shereen, go ahead and jump on. There, there you are. Oh, it's dark. There you are. Sorry about that. Okay. Beautiful backyard there. Hey, lift the, can you lift your, your, uh, your laptop? We want to see, we want to see Hawaii, even if we, there it is. Comes into focus. Wow, what a gorgeous backyard you have there in, in Hawaii. What part of Hawaii are you in, Shereen? Um, I'm on Oahu um, in Kailua, a little small town. I know it's, everybody thinks Oahu's, you know, Waikiki and Honolulu, but there's a small town called yeah. Kailua, and that's where I live. There's San Francisco, then there's there's uh, Carmel. You're yeah. in the Carmel, but that'd be maybe a good way to put it. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Kailua is where everyone wants to live. That's like the spot. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So uh, I get to interview you here just real quick as we wrap up today. Um, now, you and I have been friends for... I did meet you when we were young. I mean, maybe 21, maybe 22. Yeah, yeah. it's okay. been like 30 years. Just like, bam, here we are. Did you think 30 years, back back then, did you think we'd be sitting here, you in your backyard, and see, your life has gone great. Mine's not so great. I'm in, I'm in Sacramento <laughs> still. You're in Kailua, the Carmel of, of Hawaii. And uh, so, man, I'm jealous. I'm eating my oh, heart I'm out. I'm jealous of you. Don't worry. Oh, uh, whatever. <laughs> so um, so um, tell everyone your story a little bit. Brag a little. Um, I want to hear the Shereen Duncan story a little bit with real estate, how long have you been in the real estate field? And then and then what brought you to EXP? Then what did you see in EXP that kind of like, you know, well, like, wow, I mean, what made you join us? And we'll go from there. Yeah, well, I kind of, I was born in real estate. My, in Sacramento, that's why I know Brent. I was born, I wasn't born in Sacramento, but I grew up there, at least went through school there. And my parents owned a real estate company. Uh, and so I grew up in it. I was helping my, my parents dad. too. Yeah. Yeah. Your mom. Right. And, um, my mom and dad. Okay. Okay. So I just remember going, my dad measuring houses out when they, we had to measure, you know, to figure out how many square feet. And so I really grew up in it. I mean, I knew what escrow was and what falling out of escrow was probably by six years old. <laughs> so, you know, you yeah. grow up in it. So then from there, I was like, I'm not going to be a realtor because everybody in my family is even my grandparents were. So then I went into the mortgage business because I thought that wasn't somehow in the real estate industry um and i moved to san luis obispo early on i was about tw in my 20s and then um had a mortgage company there for a long time about 15 years got out in 06 which was kind of perfect january yes. 06 <laughs> um and then i ended up moving to lake tahoe trying to decide what to do again um when the market was so bad that i didn't want to be in the mortgage business ever again um, this was 07. And so I started working for Fidelity National Title and um, was in Lake Tahoe for a while. Then they uh, gave me a promotion to be sales manager for all of Hawaii. Um, and that's what moved me out here. And that was in early 2012. So eight years ago. Um, I did that for a couple of years, but man, I mean, owning my own company was one thing and that was great. Um, but managing with, you know, hundreds of employees managing sucks anyway that's my opinion i hate managing <laughs> but um anyway but that was fine i did that for a while i thought i was happy because i'm always happy but man when i decided uh two a little over two years into it i was like forget it i'm selling houses so i'd been working with top realtors they were my best friends my whole life all top agents i learned a lot from them and um so i started selling real estate and in my second, my first full year in real estate, I actually got in the top 100 in Hawaii. We have like 9,000 agents. So I had learned, I didn't know anybody outside of realtors, but I had learned Wait, how to time work. Time out. You, first year you made the top 100? Yeah. Out of 9,000? I wow. did. 
That's and it great. was because I've watched all these agents teach me how to work hard and teach me work ethic. And I've learned a lot, I mean, from them. And so I have a lot of respect towards top producing agents. I know the, the discipline it takes to be successful, especially when times get hard. You know, I've been, lived through some tough times in the real estate industry. So what saying, year did you start real estate? Oh, whew, I was only 18. I mean, I was super no, young. No, no, no. I mean, real estate when you left Fidelity National. Oh, Title. that was, oh, good times. 2014. 14, or, Stephen. Yeah. In I've real been estate. in real estate while it's been easy. And I know that yeah. because I've lived, been in other parts of the industry when it was really hard. Right. Um, so I'm ready. <laughs> so you, you worked for a big brokerage the past six years or really been at EXP for what, a couple years now? I've been at EXP two years and yes. I love it. Um, I guess what happened, uh, I was just selling real estate. I was going to go out on my own. Um, I was at Keller Williams, but I thought um, I was getting my broker's license here, uh, thinking I'm just going to have my own team. I have my little team called Hawaii Lux Homes. We have 10 agents now. Um, and I was just thinking, I'm just going to do my own thing. And then Chris Okamura sends me a Facebook message about, will you take a look at this and um it took me three months to look at it i kept not you know i was so bad i was like i promise i'm gonna watch it i'm gonna watch it and i would just oh i felt bad and uh, finally i watched it and when i did i saw brent Hope in the background he wasn't doing the the speech, it was Rob Flick, but in the background, I saw a picture, had Brent Gove on it. So I went and grabbed my phone. I called Brent. I said, Brent, you doing this? What is this? He's like, oh, Shereen, I was thinking you were in the mortgage business. That's right. You're selling real estate. Because literally, I didn't know the guy sending me. <laughs> I didn't know the guy sending me the uh, the Facebook message. Yeah, uh, from Murray, sure. who has turned out to be my rock star. And I'm so grateful for him. But what's so funny is I knew Brent. So I called Brent. Brent happened to sponsor Chris. So, um, Whole world. yeah, so I called Brent and then I watched it again and I couldn't unsee it. In fact, I sent Chris after I spoke with Brent and I watched it twice. I sent Chris a text, just said all capitals I'm in. Cause I wow. could see, I could see the liability I wouldn't have to have. That was the one thing I wasn't looking forward to because having a mortgage company, I had my broker's license for that. Yeah. So I was so excited. The few things I didn't want to deal with, they would all be dealt with. The paperwork, whoo, you know, no big, I don't have to have an accountant to do everything for the, for the whole business. Um, all the things I know that come along with having a company. So I was so excited, couldn't unsee it. Plus over the years I've met and have great relationships with so many agents in Lake Tahoe area. I don't even, I think I missed that part, but I went to Lake Tahoe for five years, lived there before I came to Hawaii. Um, so I know agents from all over the place. And um, this has been really great. This has been amazing. That is awesome. So, so fast forward, you've been at EXP for a couple of years now, mm -hmm. and you were one of the top agents for Keller Williams in uh, Oahu, right? Well, I was their top Kailua agent. Um, and yeah, I was, I was in their top 20%. They had 350 agents, yeah. Yeah, awesome. And then, and so you saw the model, you jumped, you had a team of 10 agents that on your, on the Hawaii Lux team. Not at that time. I probably only had two at that time. Oh, okay. So you only had two and um, you'd been at, how long had you been at uh, your old brokerage, KW? How long? Well, I started at Elite Properties for a little while, about six months, and then went to KW for a couple years, two, three years. So in a couple years, you kind of built a team of three, you and two agents. Mm -hmm. And then now you've been an EXP for two years. And so now your team is up to 10. Hawaii mm -hmm. Lux team is at 10 agents. Mm -hmm. But you begin to enroll, sponsor, share the business model of EXP with others that you knew, both stateside and in the islands. How many people have you personally attracted to EXP, the model, our brokerage um, in the last two years? Uh, have you personally sponsored? Yeah, just 33. Um, I really thought I would sponsor more by now, but I haven't really gone. I really have let people come to me a lot. I, I mean, I know that that's different, but because I have a lot of relationships with people, I reach out, tell them about it and say, you let me know when you want to hear more about it. So it's kind of- I would signed up with you in a second. 
So I want to find out with you. <laughs> but I got lucky and I got Chris too. <laughs> yes, you did. You, well, you get two for the price of one. You get two coconuts, not one. Two mm -hmm. So, so I want to make the point though. Um, agents are so funny. Well, I'm not a recruiter. I'm not a recruiter. You ever tell someone you like your brokerage? Yeah. They ever join? Yeah. You're a recruiter. <laughs> it's that hard. So um, you've listed 33 homes in your career, right? Many times. You've done 33. When you get paid for, let's say you listed 33 homes in 2017 or 18. Back then, what do you get paid today for those 33 listings? Zero. Zero. Now, in the yeah. last two years, 2018 and 19, you listed 33 agents, so to speak. You sponsor many HP. And today, you get paid a lot of money, you know, $100,000, $200,000 a year. I don't know what you get paid, but it's pretty good, right? Mm -hmm. Residual, passive. So here's the point. Those 33 agents begin to tell their, because all of you do this, whether you get paid for it or not is on you. But if you're a Sotheby's agent, a REMAX agent, Berkshire, Keller, Coldwell Banker, and inevitably someone will say, how do you like real estate? And we say, right, Shereen? We love it. I love it. And then, and then they go, well, geez, you think I could do it? And we say, no, nope, you can't do it. You're a, you have no, <laughs> of course, you can if you want to. And now there's some people have said, eh, it's probably not cut out for you because they not outgoing and motivated, right? It's kind of an outgoing, motivated kind of person job, right? Yeah, it is. But there's been many friends over the years, and we've both done this a long time, me, 24 years, you, uh, as long, and, um, and they join, and when they, when they get their license, the next word they say to you is, well, how do you like Global Banker? How do you like Berkshire Hathaway or Sotheby's or Christie's? And if you're there, of course, you can say, I hate it. This is the worst place ever. But no, you're not going to say that. You're there because you like Compass or whatever company you're with. And then they go, gee, could I, do you think the manager would talk to me? And he goes, sure. I mean, if you call that recruiting and just too hard to do, okay. But let me tell you what, you are, you are recruiting for your brokerage. You don't even know it. And then when that agent says, you know, two, three, four years later, they start selling 30, 40, 50 homes a year. And your brokerage goes, Shereen, thank you so much for sending Ann or Kim. Man, they're going to sell 40 homes here. We're so excited. Keep up those referrals. And I always say, I'll bet you're excited because you're going to get paid 30, 40, 50 times. And if you sent your friend, what do you get? Nothing. So at EXP, you're just simply compensated for that very well. Is that a fair statement, Shereen? It's, it's amazing. It's honestly the most amazing uh, company, real estate company ever. I mean, I've seen so many living in so many areas and working with agents. Um, it's the best. I mean, it's so, I, I, I never understand. Are you having it's fun? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. So those 33 agents, they started telling yes. their family, friends, co-workers, past clients, people they've done deals with. Um, are you, how many agents do you have now in your organization, your EXP yes. sales organization? Oh, about the threes right now. I have 333 today. I had to laugh. <laughs> wow. And just for fun, how long has the Oahu KW been around? How many years do you think? Ooh. I don't know. I have to ask Gene Fredericks. I think he owned the first one here. So probably over 10 years, fair to say? Yeah, yeah I think Gene Fredericks opened the first one here. And you know how big they are today, if you had to guess how big they are today? 178 thousand agents i think no no i'm talking about hawaii the hawaii kw oh the it's hawaii. shrinking fast they were 350 when i left and by the way i was in the first 10 agents in hawaii nobody had done anything with it had been just sitting here like a silent dragon sleeping for two and a half years and then right. uh, so coming nobody had heard of exp two years ago no one no one it was just such a so how many, how many agents does EXP, uh, has KW Oahu have now, if you had to estimate? What do you think? So, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, we now, you know, we're at 10. Now we have, uh, we're pushing 300 agents in Hawaii okay. EXP now. No, I'm talking about KW. You think KW? I know. So I think we took at least 100 from them. I think at least 100 probably. You think they're down to 250? Is that what you're saying? Probably so, yeah. So yeah. it took them 10 years to get to 250. Yeah. 
And in two years, you're at three, three. almost 300. Well, the, the state of Hawaii, my business in Hawaii is about 175, but okay. all of Hawaii is about 280 right now. Yeah. Okay. And which islands are you on in Hawaii? All of them. I love it. I love that answer. I asked Chris the same thing. He's like, we're on all of them. Hawaii. I got to think John, John Valester is one of the guys that basically, yeah, I have a blessing guy. He's called John Valesteris and he is the one that really helped and got us on all the islands. I sponsored him and actually he really came to me and said, I'm your birthday present. Um, Brent, you were here that day. And, um, and, he, and he is, he's been amazing. He's been a huge help. And as far as just getting all islands on board. Yeah. John Ballesteros, right on. John yeah. Ballesteros, the V team. The V team, Ballesteros, right on. I know John, he's a great guy. So by the way, I'm going to be there in November. So we all got to hook up and have a luau, a party, something fun. I'll do some training, whatever. I'm well, come up you came. Days. You came when I first started and you got me off the ground because I said I'm in to Chris. And then a couple weeks later, you were here. Um, and you were actually on Maui and you did me a favor. You flew over here. You said, if you could get some people together, you'd meet with them. I had 14 people in that room. They all came on board. You and now you have 330. You're on every island. I love saying Kona, Kauai, Maui. It's fun to say the names. But, um, <laughs> but uh, regarding your, your state side too, are you, are you in two or three states? How many states are you in now? I just counted the other day. I didn't know, but I'm in 18. Wow, 18 states. Would that have ever have happened if you started a boutique bro brokerage in Oahu, Hawaii Lux, when independent? Would you be in 18 states? <laughs> Heck no. My dream was to go all islands. That, that was my big dream. And you've already done that with the 175. Yeah. So you have 330 or whatever. You're in 18 states and growing like crazy. The model's powerful. What would you say to people watching this interview about checking out EXP, just to have an open mind, staying curiosity, learn about the model, the numbers, the math? What would you say? Oh, I would say if you are listening to this right now at all and you can hear this, that you would be crazy not to look at it. You are lucky that you somehow got invited to hear anything about EXP. To not look at it would just be a disservice to you and your family. That's what I think. Yes, yes, yes. So check out EXP. Get back to the person who put, sent you this information. Mm -hmm. And I want to give everyone a, a homework assignment. I'm big on homework assignments. I want you to do a beta test. If you're not with EXP, take this webinar. It's called themodelexplained.com. It's what you just watched before Shereen and I got on. It's online 24-7. I want you to go over to your best friend's house in real estate tonight. Now, of course, we're sequestered. We're sheltering in place. So I guess you can't exactly do that. But you could send them a Zoom link. At the bottom is a green folder that says share my screen. You hit it and you can actually play the modelexplained.com and watch it with them. Now, they will want to ask you questions. Say, I will ask you questions after we watch this because a picture's worth a thousand words and it, it's going to answer all your questions. It's just gonna be so discombobulated if we start there. Let's just watch, then we'll talk. Instead of having 40 questions, you'll have five. And it's just gonna roll it all out. You all just saw it, that's your beta test. By the way, Shereen, I don't know if you know this, as a Keller Williams agent, when I saw this and you, you texted um, Chris Okamura, I'm in, all caps. When I showed this to Rick G, how I did the same thing. I'm in, no questions. Richie has 1,300 now. I watched that the other day, your interview with him. Oh, my oh God. Yeah. It's, it's amazing. So, you know, winners know a good thing when they see it. But as a Keller Williams agent, I showed this to eight people, not as an EXP agent. I did a beta test. I ran it by eight of the sharpest people I knew. Some of them were franchise owners, regional managers, one of which was Chris. He was a regional uh, manager for Berkshire Hathaway, he ran a franchise in my area. Uh, Remax regional manager, uh, Frank Crandall, uh, franchise owners, Randy Bird, Jeff Willems, um, ex-franchise owners, Rick Chiha, own nine, Keller Williams, nine of them, master faculty trainer, all of them sold their franchises, all of them quit their jobs, all of them, and then about four major producers, all of them switched companies, like eight for eight. I'm like, 
Everyone thinks I was so brave and so courageous and a pioneer. The truth is, I'm like, everybody wants to do this. My hunch is that people would like it. I just didn't realize how much. I thought they would, but then I did my little beta, eight for eight. Mm -hmm. I'm in. I'm going to try it for six months. $149 capital investment. No capital investment here. Ego, ego investment. Hi. You know, what if it didn't work? I go back and say, oh, I failed. I built my whole career on failure. You know, I'm not afraid to put my chin out there. I'm not afraid to, to fall. And you learn what works. And that's how we succeeded, right, Shree? We're willing to swing the bat. We're willing yeah. to try again and again and again. And my favorite saying, the biggest room in the world, the room for improvement. And I got better, you got better. So um, thank you for being on today. Any parting thoughts or comments for anybody doing a deeper dive on EXP? Uh, I I'll just give you the floor if you got a final thought or comment. Um, just basically, um, I really appreciate the opportunity so much. I think that us spreading it and sharing it with our agents is what we're supposed to do because it is such a blessing to other people. And um, if anybody ever wants to call me and look me up on Workplace, I'm happy to help. Or if you think I would, you know, somebody you know would relate with me and I could talk to them, I'd be happy to help. It doesn't matter where you are in, in the business or who's upline, downline, wherever. I'm happy we'll to help. help. Yeah, I'm super happy to help anytime and um, and uh, just go out and share it, share it. Yep. And whoever invited you to watch this, that's who your sponsor would be. Shree and I just want to facilitate that, you know, from the right, come from the right spot there. Hey, I forgot to ask you one final question. Yeah. Let's fast forward one year from now. You've got 330 agents. Where would you like to be one year from today? April 2021, where would you like to be? What would your agent count be? You're building an organization like Coldwell Banker did 100 years ago and Gary Keller did and everybody else has ever built a real estate company. How, what, what, where do you see your agent count in a year? April 2021. Um, I really believe, and I'm working hard, my goal is 1,000 agents and um, 40 FLQAs. So wow. I have... Uh, wow. And what, what would your rev share be annually at that point? What do you anticipate it being at the minimum? Of? Well, I mean, my goal right now, I really want a hundred thousand a month. That's my, that's my, what I'm, that's where I want to be. Did you, I'm sorry. Did you say a hundred thousand a year? I didn't quite catch that. <laughs> hundred thousand a month is what I'm, that's a my month. Goal. Now listen to me, you guys, some of you are like, there's no way. Let me, let me tell you something. You can't hit a goal you don't have. The reason you're not going to make 100000 a month is you don't even think it's possible. You don't even, it's not even on the radar and you can't hit a goal you don't have. She has a goal of 100000 a month. What if she fails and messes it up and is only making fifty, sixty, seventy thousand 70000 a month, right? Right, exactly. Um, so keep learning about EXP. Learn the math. Watch this again. I saw it two or three times. Each time I saw it, it made more sense. I've switched up my format starting next week. I'm going to start this every day, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday for one hour at 1230 Pacific, 330 Eastern. And I believe that would be 930 a.m. Hawaiian time. Is that right? Yeah, got three hours. Yeah. Yeah. I translated for my Hawaiian brothers and sisters. What do we call the family in Hawaii? We call that? Ohana. Ohana. My Ohana my, my Hawaiian brothers and sisters, my Ohana, 9.30 a.m. Hawaiian time, 12 p.m. Pacific, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. They can watch the model explain, invite people on, then I'll be on live to interview usually a couple people. Um, today, I just chose Shereen because she's amazing and she's in a beautiful setting and, and she's spectacular. I just wanted to hog her all up. Hope you enjoyed the interview. Shereen, thank you for being on. And I suppose it is, what, about 10.30 a.m. in Hawaii right now? Yep, 10.31. Yep. You're like me. You're like, I don't I can't, I can't see. see. I know, yeah. I know. Thank you. Love Aloha. You. Have a great day. We'll see you. Aloha.